right, Counter Punch Boxing Talk. How you doing out there, YouTube? Okay, earlier today, we put out a video, uh, and actually, we were like the second YouTube channel, you know, to break the, the news that Kell Brook uh, had like a huge announcement, um, being very, you know, mysterious about it, very quiet about it, you know, dropping clues, you know, putting out a hint here and there, and... Uh, I can't find it. I don't know if I missed it or what, but um, I'm thinking it'll be out tomorrow. Um, I told you guys I'd be back with a follow-up video and let you know the announcement. Now, uh, if you didn't catch the other video, uh, the one right below the one you're watching now probably, um, he, he basically uh, put out this kind of cryptic you know, statement uh, and tweet and every, you know, on every platform out there talking about, you know, a huge announcement that would begin a new journey and his coach Dominic uh, as well, you know, just reporting that they have a big announcement and, and what I think it will be, uh, I believe Kell Brook is going to leave Eddie Hearns um, and, and move on to uh, a new promoter. And by doing that, uh, setting up the Amir Khan Kelbrook fight, I mean that to me that can be the only thing that you know would would, would warrant this kind of attention and drama. You know, he's like leaving the boxing world in suspense. You know, we're we're trying to figure out what exactly is going on. Um, so yeah, I just you know I, I, I'm a man of my word. All right, I said I'd put a a follow up video and. I hate that I don't have any new information, but as soon as I get it, I'll, I'll put it up in the channel. But um, a couple other things I wanted to go over. Uh, this uh, over, Today is uh, Monday. Uh, this coming weekend, five days from now, I mean, we have a great, great weekend of boxing. Uh, we got... Terrence Crawford Jr. or Terrence Crawford and John Molina Jr. Uh, Saturday, de uh, December 10th. Uh, Anthony Joshua, Eric Molina, uh, the Charlo brothers. They're from my hometown, right here in Houston, Texas. Uh, I actually I go down to the gym and watch them train every now and then uh, with Erislandi Lara. Uh, just a ton of great, uh, ton of great fights coming this up. Uh, Mars right there, up near Mars. A uh, ton of great fights. I mean, what a way to end the year. And uh, I guess I can go ahead and announce it. We're gonna put out like a year-end video, uh, kind of you know, kind of going over the year. And we did one in 2014 and 2015, um, but yeah, 2016 was a—I mean, it was a great year, really, for boxing. Um, you know, a lot of up, you know, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, a lot of good, a lot of bad. Uh, but you know, the, hey, that's boxing. You take the good with the bad. Uh, so yeah, I just want to kind of let you guys know uh, <clears throat> we will have a, a really cool year-end video and it'll be long i mean probably like an hour long you know i might even do it in like like part one part two okay uh right here bernard hopkins having his uh farewell fight uh against smith jr you know uh, b hop right there uh you know and i thought about maybe well, no, I will. I'm definitely going to put out a video uh, just kind of going over his career, um, his highlights, you know, uh, especially, uh, you know, I'd like to compare his record to Gennady Golovkin with the title defenses and, um, you know, that kind of thing. And then now his career uh, as a part owner at Golden Boy Promotion, as a promoter, uh, you know, kind of Oscar De La Hoya's right-hand man, you know, uh, took Sa Saul Canelo Alvarez under his wing, you know, I'd like, he, he's got a really uh, amazing career, and, you know, at the end of, at the end of it all, I like to, to pay, you know, to pay my respect to these guys, uh, although at times, you know, they really piss me off and, <laughs> uh, you know, do things, and, uh, you know, but, but at the end of it, you know, boxing to me is one big family, and, you know, you, uh, you have to respect what these guys do. You know, I'm a boxer myself, and um, it's tough. It is really, really tough. Um, last Monday, I had a, a tooth knocked out, you know. Uh, let's see, I had my nose broken and a tooth knocked out. Maybe I sound a little funny tonight because it's weird talking. It's like on the, not my front tooth, but kind of off to the right. Uh had my tooth knocked out, but uh, I'll, I'll get a fake one put in there, whatever, you know, nose broke, uh, hurt my left knee, 
you know, boxing is a is a tough, tough world. So, uh, and <laughs> wow, okay, man. I mean, I've got to make a video about Conor McGregor, and you know, I I have a a, a guilty admission. You know, I, I am a Conor McGregor fan, believe it or not. Uh, I I don't like the UFC. I don't like all the the grappling and the wrestling and the but you know I respect what those guys do in a way, um, but yeah we, you know all the talk with uh, Conor McGregor here talking about you know a potential Floyd Mayweather fight and now Polly Malignaggi calling him out and even uh, Shane Mosley Sugar Shane Mosley you know jumping on the McGregor train you know, calling out Conor McGregor. Uh, so, I mean, we've, we've got to make a video about it. And, and, and I think the guy, I think he's for real because, uh, I know they just stripped him of the welterweight belt. I believe he has two belts right now. Uh, the only guy in USC history to carry two belts and two, you know, two different weight divisions. Uh, you know, I don't mean to sound like I know a lot about USC because I don't, but, um, but I know they just took one of the belts away because he's not going to go back down to I believe welterweight and to de to defend that belt, um, so now he went and got his uh, he he got his boxing license. So now he is uh, you know he has his professional boxing license, which means that uh, you know he's for real. Uh, he can you know just like any other guy you know Pacquiao, Vargas, whoever he can get in the ring just like any professional fighter can. And I don't think you know he wouldn't have gone and gotten that license if you know, he wasn't for real, uh, about getting in, in, into boxing, and you know, hey, you never know, you never know, he might, you know, I mean, he, he's definitely a gifted fighter, you have to give the man that, now, boxing, any top 10 would shred him apart, you know, but, uh, I think he has the talent, the ability, the attributes to be a great boxer, I do, I'm not saying he is now, but he could be, um, you know, especially, in the UFC, uh, taking shots like that, you know, with them gloves on, I've been hit with those gloves, and, uh, man, I mean, honestly, I'd rather be hit with a bare knuckle than a UFC glove, I mean, I mean, they hurt, it's kind of like, uh, getting hit with a phone book with, like, a, a rock on it, I mean, it, it's this blunt force, but you also have the sharpness of a knuckle hitting you too. Uh, brutal, very brutal. Not like a, a boxing glove, like a 14 ounce or a 16 ounce glove. Nothing like that. It feels completely different. Take it from me. Um, I've been smacked around by all of them. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think because of that, you know, he has a great chin. He's a tough dude. And, you know, definitely he has a natural fighting ability. So, yeah, you know, hey, we'll see. You never know. Okay, so yeah, we got, and then Miguel Cotto, uh, I reported about a month ago, Miguel Cotto and Juan Manuel Marquez uh, in negotiations for a potential fight 2017, um, now that is off, Juan Manuel Marquez, you know, officially retired, he came out and said, you know, and, and besides, he was, I think, you know, he was kind of too small for that fight, I mean, they, I mean, they'd have, definitely have to, you know, go at a catch weight, but uh, Cotto is too big. Marquez too small. Marquez retired, said I'm done. I'm out of here. You know, and he might come back up. Now I hear he's in the gym training again. So you never know with these guys. But Miguel Cotto taking on James Kirkland. Now that's that's what I've heard, um, and I've even heard like they've already signed the contract. It's a done deal, and uh, we'll probably get that fight in 2017. <clears throat> so uh, not a bad matchup. James Kirkland, good guy. Uh, I spent a few days with him in Houston uh, when he was cutting weight for the Canelo Alvarez fight, and he's a really cool guy. Now, I think he needs to get back with Ann Wolf, um, his former trainer and coach, uh, out of Austin, Texas, about two hours uh, north of where I live. Um, I think if, uh, you know, if he goes back with Ann Wolf, you know, he might have a chance in that Miguel Cotto fight. But right now, I think he, you know, he's pretty much fighting for money, and I think Cotto is just trying, you know, trying to figure out how he's going to leave, you know, leave boxing. How does he want to end his legacy? You know, I think that's kind of what Cotto is doing. And I guess you could call that fighting for money. And, you know, I'm all for these guys continuing on their career, but I don't want to see them fighting for money only, you know, because I want to see the passion and the heart and, you know, the challenge, you know, you want to see like a good, interesting matchup, you know, that, uh, 
you know, is entertaining to the boxing fans. You know, I mean, who, you know, we don't want to watch a guy go 12 rounds and get paid, you know, $8 million and go home. I mean, that, you know, we don't want that. We want a real fight. So, uh, one more thing real quick. Let me, I want to show you guys something. Okay. All right, look here. Uh, wait a minute, where is it? Okay, right here. Okay, boxing schedule, December 10th. I mean, look at this. I mean, it's completely stacked. Uh, we have one of the Charlo brothers fighting Julian Williams. Now, this is on December 10th coming up over the weekend, Showtime. Uh, there's Abner Mars again, uh, Anthony Joshua, Eric Molina, Scott Quigg, uh, <clears throat> uh, fighting uh, Jose Cant Cant I always I mess his name up Cant Canto Cantio Cantio Scott Quig <laughs> versus Jose Cant Cantino or Cantino man I am terrible with these names I know a lot of people make fun of me in the comments section but I mean these names are difficult I mean okay they're they're hard uh, Terrence Crawford John Molina Jr I'm excited about that fight uh, Joseph Parker Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz Jr. So, uh, yeah, I mean, oh, look, at, there is uh, Julio Cesar Chavez right there. Dominic Britch, never heard of him. But, uh, you know, and Chavez said, by the way, Julio Cesar Chavez, he said, uh, you know, if, if, um, if I can't beat Dominic, I'm done with boxing. Like, I have no business in the ring if I can't beat him. You know, so, uh, I mean, we have a great, great weekend of boxing. I mean, I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I'm going to have to record and watch and rewatch. I mean, because right here we have, I mean, fights that I'm personally interested in. Uh, one, two, right there, Terrence Crawford. Uh, the Luis Ortiz fight, even that one. Uh, you know, the Quig fight, Anthony Joshua. What's that, like four? <laughs> uh the Charlo, uh, the Charlo fight, Julian Williams, and then we have uh, Abner Morris fighting. I mean, it's just a great, great weekend of boxing. So, yeah, looking forward to it. But anyway, guys, I wanted to kind of, kind of recap everything and go over everything and put up, you know, put up the update video because, uh, yeah, now, now I feel kind of bad, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I I got it from from his mouth. I mean, he said we have a huge announcement today. We're going on a new journey, blah blah blah, and then nothing. It's like dead silence. So as soon you know, and of course, you know, as soon as we hear anything, you know, we'll update it in the channel. Uh, so yeah, leave your leave your comment below, uh, and thank you for all the the uh support and the likes and the shares and uh you know we're working hard here we really are we're doing our best and uh each and every day we're going to get better and better and we'll see you next time thank you very much counterpunch boxing we are out